hello guys welcome back to my channel it's good to see you here once again thank you so much for always stopping by to check out check out my video Theory is like 20%. If you go to the schools, it's all about theory. They don't even have time for you. Go to the makeup artist, art, artist that you know that is doing well for himself to teach you the job. Tip number two. Don't expect success right away. Most of the times, people starting makeup artistry or going fully into fully into makeup artistry gets tired of investment honey this is the time to invest don't expect success right away because trust me it takes time you need to invest 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 in the business invest in your brand invest in your products every aspect of your brand you need to invest in it before you can gain so that brings us to point number three tip number three brand yourself brand yourself yes so branding comes into it if you are thinking about going into makeup artistry professionally of becoming a makeup artist please add this to your list branding you need to brand yourself build a website make sure that you be available on at least instagram facebook twitter on this three social media platforms make sure you be your business will be available on them point number four don't move to a huge city right away sweetheart you can be successful anywhere you are you don't need to rush to the city to be successful and sometimes it baffles me because if you come to accra for instance there are lots of makeup artists in accra 
so the competition is very high so i don't know i don't see the reason why someone will rush to accra i mean someone will feel like or feel that yes yes i'm a makeup artist but i'm not hitting here because i'm not in the city cancel that in your ways because i know makeup artists that are in the village and they are making it more than those of us here in accra so you don't have to rush be in a rush to come to the city right away do you understand start start it every story has a beginning start with whatever you have at wherever you are if if because of work you need to move to Accra, that is a different story but for you to think that yes i will make it here and i need to move to the city to make it as a professional makeup artist no 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 please don't think about that please take care of this okay you can make it anywhere point number five or tip number five test shoots should be your best friend yes i know it may seem like a waste of uh, money or product to do a makeup that doesn't include money but trust me test shoots is the best as a beginner okay test shoot should be your friend it should be your best best friend you can just team up with a photographer a hairstylist a wardrobe personal and then you you organize models and then do model shoots create uh, looks you should just shoot just team up with a photographer a hairstylist and then a wardrobe personal and you are good to go shoot 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 never stop shooting because remember you have created uh, your social media media uh, platforms and you need to engage your followers on those platforms so test shoot should be your best friend don't sit down expecting a client and because they are not coming you are giving up more test shoots more followers more followers remember you need to engage your followers on your social media platforms so you need more test shoots point number six test quality makeup products there are lots of makeup brands that are quality products and they are made local countries like we have some nigerian brands we have some ghanaian owned makeup brands that produce quality products so as a beginner you can look out for such brands and start working with them because quality is very important if you make somebody up and without using quality products when they go they won't come again and as she is not coming back that is how you are going to lose a whole lot of clients because if the makeup me a fair, if the makeup is good or bequa cotton, we have a local saying that we've been saying and that at the pa and a ton the home in team patcho we are makeup in a man and nasty in your fair or qua or maybe or no swap one coca because it's not good she can't say anything about it therefore you lose clients so you need to invest in quality makeup products point number seven yes people will try to ruin your dreams people will try to destroy your dreams you have people both from your family friends discouraging you about what you have decided to do as in to go into makeup i personally cannot tell you the number of times that i was discouraged to when i decided to go into makeup including my father my daddy told me to like she, he was like this is not anything this is not a profession there are no gains in this so you need to look elsewhere 
You understand? That was what my daddy told me. He was trying. He tried basically everything to discourage me. It's not that they don't love you, but it's just that they they want the best for you. But hello, I mean, makeup has evolved um, over the years and has improved. And has become has been accepted now as a profession so you will get discouraged once i had a student i was training and then she come in to be trained but my end was a problem because the auntie was against it the father the mother including her own best friend but at the end of the day she came and she was trained and now she is a professional makeup artist doing her job and gaining and all those people were happy the friend is now happy for her that she wanted to come she herself she, she also wants to come and be trained as a makeup artist so you shouldn't be discouraged what you need to know is the best revenge is to prove all of them wrong so keep fighting okay point number eight you are going to have rude clients yes trust me everybody have rude clients okay you are going to meet people who are literally rude and you are going to meet people who are just me okay and you will meet people who knows what they want and how they want it they know what they want and they know how they want it and they literally want you to do it how they want it people can actually sometimes make you feel guilty of losing confidence in your work because because of so many clients not being satisfied with your work but you have to learn like okay so what did i do in my previous um work that i need to improve on so you learn from that and you, you improve on it with your next client do you understand you don't have to take their meanness or their attitude so hard because if you do that you are going to lose your confidence and you will it's your confidence if you don't have confidence your client will also not have confidence in you so you need that and you need to protect it so all you have to do is to learn from those people to upgrade onto your next clients trust me there are people it's not everybody that will appreciate your work there are people who will not appreciate your work okay it is not the end of the world i mean it's just makeup and it can be washed off it is not some surgery that you've done for them that cannot be taken off so please there will be main clients but all you have to do is to play along whatever they want you give it to them and there are people who will just not be satisfied with your work so whatever the case is don't take it at heart don't overthink it but rather learn from your mistake and upgrade okay so that you can kill your next job when you get it remove point number nine be confident be confident personally when i started makeup professionally i'm not confident in myself and that actually made me lose a whole lot of clients because i mean if i don't have confidence in me how are they going to have confidence in my job you understand so you need to be confident in what you do even if you have to fake it be confident it is very important smile start a conversation stand up straight with your chest out and the rest will fall in place okay do what you know and be confident with yourself okay so 
the tenth and final tip is never give up. There have been countless times where I just want to give up, you know. There have been times where when I see makeup product, it just annoys me. There have been times when I don't, I just don't feel like wearing makeup. Like, come on, what is this? I kept investing and investing and investing and you never stop investing. And the, the rate, if I think about the rate at which I'm investing and I'm not getting clients at the same rate it just bores me yeah so i mean there have been days when other makeup artists will be booked for bridal makeups will be booked for working makeups and all that and i will just be there without a bridal booking no working makeups and it feels annoying though it feels discouraging i won't lie to you it feels disappointing but all you have to know is there is a chance for everyone so you just need to wait for your own time there is time for everyone so you just need to wait for your own time so those weekends those weekdays that you don't have clients you don't have working clients you don't have write up you remember our fifth point that is test shoots should be your best friend so when you don't have clients you don't have write up bookings you don't have working clients it is the best time to organize your test shoots with your team members okay to upgrade on your skills to learn new things and as a makeup artist, the only chance, the only time you can actually upgrade on your skill is working more, working more, working more. So you not having clients doesn't mean that you shouldn't work or you should give up. It simply means it is time to organize test shoots with your team members to shoot more, to be able to upgrade so that when you finally get a bridal booking, when you finally get a working client, you give it your all. And that is when you start seeing improvement. Yes, so that is all for my 10 tips. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. And I'm done with my makeup. So guys, this is my final look. I hope you liked it. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel. Remember to press your the bell button so that you receive notifications anytime I upload a new video. See you next week. Remember to stay safe. Bye-bye.